Hi kids, in this video we will continue with motions in one dimension, physics class 9 and we will discuss numericals from exercise 2a, consigns physics. Now before going into the numericals, let us just a recap of a previous lesson which will be useful while doing the numericals. First thing that is speed of a body is given by distance divided by time next average speed we have done all these okay in the previous lesson average speed is total distance by total time for the journey then we have instantaneous instantaneous speed which was distance covered in a very short duration of time short duration of time divided by time gives you instantaneous speed then if the body is moving in one particular direction then instead of speed can I write velocity so velocity of the body is equal to distance traveled in a particular direction by time which is nothing but displacement also so displacement by time displacement by time gives you the velocity of the body then we have average velocity so what is average velocity displacement by total time taken by total time taken for the journey now at times we need we see that we need to convert kilometer per hour speed from kilometer per hour to meter per second so if you want to convert speed from kilometer per hour to meter per second you just need to multiply by 5 by 18 and why so just look over here kilometer per hour is nothing but one kilometer is what thousand meter and this is 3600 second 1 hour is 3600 second which gives us 5 by 18 so when you convert kilometer per hour to meter per second you just need to multiply by 5 by 18 and the reverse which is from meter per second to kilometer per hour what do we do just multiply with the reciprocal so multiply by 18 by 5 same logic now comes we did acceleration remember Accel this was number 5 number 6 acceleration of a body is equal to change in velocity change in velocity by time so acceleration denoted by a can be written as v minus u by t change in velocity by v is your Final velocity, u is your initial velocity, t is time and a is acceleration. Now look over here, t goes over there, so v minus u equals to a t. So we can write v equals to u plus a t. So this remember. Now one more thing before we move to the numericals that negative of acceleration remember that negative of acceleration is retardation is retardation which means when the speed of the body decreases when the final velocity is less than the initial velocity your acceleration will be negative and negative acceleration is nothing but retardation produced and if v is greater than u then of course that's acceleration done these will be useful while doing the sums on numericals now let us look at the numericals from exercise 2a consigns physics look at sum number one the speed of the car is 72 km per hour you need to express it in meter per second very easy we know speed in meter per second how do you change kilometer per hour to meter per second we just multiply by 5 by 18. Am I clear or not? 18 one time, 18 four times. That's 20 meter per second. Done. 
very easy now express 15 meter per second in kilometer per hour so in this case we need to multiply by 18 by 5 the reciprocal so speed in kilometer per hour is 15 multiplied by 18 by 5 that's 54 kilometer per hour done pretty easy look at number 3 express each of the following in meter per second 1 kilometer per hour very easy we know how to change 1 kilometer per hour to meter per second just multiply by 5 by 18 this is meter per second 5 by 18 will be 0 0.278 meter per second done okay 18 kilometer per minute 2 meter per second see how i'll do 18 kilometer per minute now 18 how do you change kilometer to meter you multiply by 1000 and how do you change minute to second you multiply by 60 so this is cancels out and this becomes 300 meter per second so what i did i multiplied by 1000 to change kilometer to meter and i multiplied Minute, minute was in denominator by 60 to change it to second. So that's 300 meter per second. Now let us look at the next sum. Now look at 4. Arrange the following in increasing order. 10 meter per second, 1 kilometer per minute and 18 kilometer per hour. What I'll do, I'll bring the unit same. I'll change the unit same, you know, which means all the three I'll write in meter per second. The first one is already in meter per second. The second one, one kilometer per minute. This is one kilometer into meter is thousand, and minute into second is sixty second. So this is fifty by three. That's sixteen two by three meter per second. And this one, we know how to change kilometer per hour to meter per second. We will just multiply by 5 by 18. You know, so that's uh, 5 meter per second. Increasing order. So, what I've done, the units are same now. Now I can compare easily. Increasing order from small to big. Smallest is this one, then this one, then this one. So, we can write 18 kilometer per hour is less than. 10 meter per second is less than 1 kilometer per minute. So that's your order. 18 kilometer per hour, then 10 meter per second, then 1 kilometer per minute. Look at number 5. Very easy. A train takes 3 hours to travel from Agra to Delhi with a uniform speed of 65 kilometer per hour. Find the distance between the two cities. Very easy. Distance is speed into time. We know this since our childhood. The speed is 65, time is 3. So that's 195 kilometers. Very easy. Am I clear? Now let us look at the next one. Now look at number 6. A car travels first 30 kilometers with a uniform speed of 60 kilometers per hour. So first 30. 30 kilometer with a uniform speed of 60 kilometer per hour. They are given this. And the next 30 kilometer, the next 30 kilometer with a uniform speed of 40 kilometer per hour. Calculate the total time of journey and the average speed. Now there are two cases. I have written D1, S1, D2, S2. For the first case, look over here. D1 is 30 km per hour and speed is 60 km per hour. We know. Speed equals to distance by time. So time will be what? T1. Distance divided by speed. D1 by S1. So D1 is 30 by 60, which is half hour. Now, in the second case, again, T2 will be D2 by S2 which is 30 
pi 40 which is 3 by 4 hours am I clear so they have asked for the total time of journey the total time of journey will be what total time for the journey we just need to add these two so half hour plus 3 by 4 hours that's 4 2 plus 3 that's 5 by 4 hours that's 1 1 by 4 hours now we need to change it to hours and minute so that's 1 hour and this will be 1 by 4 multiplied by 60 minute which is how many 15 yeah so that's 1 hour 15 minutes that's the total time of the journey now what they have asked for the average speed now we know average speed average speed is total distance by total time of the journey now what is total distance in this case that's 30 plus 30 that's 60 so 60 and total time for the journey is 5 by 4 hours so 5 by 4 this is kilometer per hour just substituting the values over here so that's 60 multiplied by 4 divided by 5 that's 12 times that's 48 kilometer per hour that's the average speed for the journey clear now let us look at the next numerical now look at sum number 7 a train takes 2 hours to reach station B from station A so from A to B the time taken to reach is 2 hours and then 3 hours to return from station B to station A then the train returns and over here the time taken for the return journey is 3 hours the distance between the two stations is 200 km distance between A and B is 200 km this information they have given find 1 the average speed and number 2 the average velocity very easy just look over here average speed is total distance by total time what is total distance 200 from A to B and 200 from B to A so total distance is 200 plus 200 and total time for the journey 2 plus 3 so that's 400 by 5 that's 80 kilometer per hour that's the average speed now when you talk about velocity velocity average velocity is displacement by total time now the body starts from here and comes back to the same position which means the displacement this is displacement by total time displacement is 0 there is no displacement time is 5 so that is 0 only am I clear so this was pretty easy now let us look at sum number 8 what they have given in 8 a car moving on a straight path covers a distance of 1 km due east in 100 seconds which means due east due east a car travels 1 km distance is 1 km or displacement you can see in time is 100 second right what is the speed and the velocity of the car the first of all speed speed of a car is distance by time am I clear or not distance is 1 kilometer 1 kilometer is 1000 meter so that's 1000 and time is 100 second so that's if you look carefully speed will be 10 meter per second now when you talk about velocity velocity is nothing but displacement by time which means distance in a particular direction that particular direction is east so over here it will be same 1000 by 100 that's 10 meter per second but we mentioned the direction due east that's the direction 
velocity will be width direction that's a vector quantity speed is a scalar quantity it has magnitude it has magnitude as well as direction okay now let us look at the next sum now look at number 9 a body starts from rest and acquires a velocity 10 meter per second in 2 second which means the initial velocity was zero starts from rest starts from rest which means the initial velocity is zero and acquires a velocity of 10 meter per second 10 meter per second in 2 second find its acceleration very easy acceleration equals to v minus u by t which is 10 minus 0 by 2 which is 10 by 2 which is 5 meter per second square that very easy look at number 10 a car starting from rest again starting from rest which means u equals to 0 uh, acquires a velocity 180 meter per second final is 180 meter per second in 0.05 hours Time is zero point zero five hours. Find the acceleration. Very easy. Look over here. Acceleration is again v minus u by t. So acceleration is one eighty minus zero. Time is how much? Hours. How do you change hours to second? Multiplied by sixty, it changes to minute. Multiplied by sixty, it changes to second. Isn't it? Sixteen to sixty. One hour is three six zero zero second. Now just do the calculation. So this is how much is this? One eighty by this is five. So hundred goes up. This is sixty into sixty. One two one two six ones are six three zero six ones are six fives are five ones are five ones are. Which means this becomes acceleration becomes. One meter per second square. Done. Now look at sum number eleven. What they have told: a body is moving vertically upward. Be careful. Upward. It will be retardation. Acceleration will be negative. When a body falls, its acceleration it's positive. Remember that. A body is moving vertically upward. Its velocity changes at the rate of fifty meter per second to twenty meter per second in three second, which means your initial velocity was fifty meter per second, but the final velocity becomes twenty meter per second, and the time is three second. See, they have told its velocity changes at a constant rate from fifty meter per second, fifty meter per second. To twenty meter per second. So the first one is initial. Next one is final. Now acceleration is v minus u by t, which is fifty minus twenty by three. So this is sorry, v is twenty and u is fifty. So that's minus thirty by three. This is minus ten meter per second square. That's your acceleration, which is negative. a negative sign denotes retardation retardation and retardation is equal to 10 meter per second square since the final velocity is less as compared to the initial velocity the body is retarded deaccelerated so acceleration was negative clear now let us look at the next sum to look at number 12 What they do? A toy car initially moving with a uniform velocity of 18 kilometer per hour, which means initial velocity is 18 kilometer per hour, comes to a stop, which means comes to rest, which means the final velocity is zero. Stops the body stops, you know. So the final velocity is zero in two second. In time is what two. second find the retardation of the car in si unit which means the si unit of acceleration is meter per second square which means for retardation also it will be same now first of all 18 km per hour which changed to 
meter per second. So this is 18 into 5 by 18 meter per second. So this becomes 5 meter per second. Now we know acceleration. They told us to find retardation. Let's find acceleration. It's V minus U by T. That's 0 minus 5 by 2. That's minus 2.5 meter per second square. And this negative sign denotes retardation, which means retardation, retardation produced will be 2.5 meter per second square. Very simple. We just use the same formula V minus U by T. Now look at number 30. A car accelerate at a rate of 5 meter per second square, which means they have given number 13, they have given the acceleration is 5 meter per second square. Find the increase in velocity in 2 seconds. Time is 2 seconds. They want us to find the increase in velocity. Now we know acceleration is change in velocity by time. In this case, the velocity has increased, so we can say that acceleration is increase in velocity by time. We can say this, isn't it? Because acceleration, the velocity will increase. So it implies increase in velocity is nothing but acceleration multiplied by time. What is acceleration? 5 times is 2, that's 10 meter per second, which means the increase in velocity is 10 meter per second in 2 seconds. Clear? Now let us look at the next numerical. Now let us look at number 14. A car is moving with a velocity of 20 meter per second. The brakes are applied to retard it at a rate of 2 meter per second square. What will be the velocity after 5 seconds of applying the brake? Which means if you look carefully, the initial velocity of the body is given as 20 meter per second. Then the brakes are applied and the body retards at the rate of 2 meter per second square, which means retardation I can write. Retardation I can write is 2 meter per second square. What will be the velocity? What will be the velocity? They are asking the final velocity after 5 seconds of applying the break. Now look here. We have V equals to U plus AT. Now this is acceleration. Remember this is not retardation. Retardation is negative of acceleration which means look over here. V equals to instead of U can I put 20 plus. Instead of A. A is acceleration and negative of acceleration is Retardation. Retardation is 2 meter per second square. So what will be acceleration? Negative of that. See, acceleration is negative of retardation, which means we can say retardation is negative of acceleration. Am I clear or not? So if retardation is given, the negative of this will be your acceleration. So I put minus 2. And t is what? t is 5. So that's v equals to 20 minus 10. So V is 10 meter per second. Because the velocity decreases. It's retard. Retardation is there, okay? The velocity decreases. If somehow, by mistake, if you write this plus, then it will be 30 meter per second. And that doesn't make a sense because the velocity is decreasing. The final velocity cannot be more than the initial velocity. Clear? Now, let us look at number 15. What they have told over here, a bicycle initially moving with a velocity of 5 meter per second. Initial velocity is 5 meter per second. Accelerates for 5 seconds. Accelerates for 5 seconds. Write the data properly. At the rate of 2 meter per second square. So acceleration is 2 meter per second square. What will be the final velocity? Very easy. It's acceleration V equals to U plus AT. So V equals to U plus A multiplied by T. So V equals to 5 plus 10. So V equals to 15 meter per second. That's pretty easy, isn't it? 
Just use the formula v equals to u plus at. We get the answer. Now let us look at the last sum. That is sum number sixteen. Now look at number sixteen. The last sum for two. A car is moving in a straight line with speed eighteen kilometer per hour. It is stopped in five seconds by applying the brakes, which means the initial velocity is eighteen kilometer per hour. The final velocity is zero because it comes to rest in five seconds. Time taken to bring the body at rest is five seconds. Find number one. The speed of the car in meter per second, which means this one. They are asking. to convert to meter per second very easy speed in meter per second now 18 km per hour how do you change to meter per second you multiply it by 5 by 18 that's 5 meter per second done the first part was very easy the second part the retardation now we know acceleration equals to v minus u by t So v is how much? Zero minus uh, u becomes what? Five because this is five meter per second. So five by time is how much? Five. So that's minus five by five. That's minus one meter per second square. A negative sign means retardation, which means can I write retardation is equal to one meter per second square? Definitely we can write this. the last portion the speed of the car after 2 second of applying the brakes which means see a new case the initial velocity was 5 meter per second no doubt in that they are asking the velocity after 2 second okay now look carefully the body is in retardation mode so we have v equals to v equals to u plus at so v equals to u is 5 plus a will be what minus 1 because it's retardation p is 2 so v is 5 minus 2 so v is 3 meter per second which means the velocity after 2 second will be 3 meter per second clear so in this video keep it till here in the next video we'll see the other portion Till then, take care and be safe.